Hey, I'm Alan McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, I'm excited right now because I saw an exciting, colorful 3D film, Valerian, and the city of a thousand planets. Now, this is directed by the French director, Luc Benson. Man. You know, he's given us a lot in the past, and this is the present today. He's still giving us a lot today. Now, he wrote the screenplay, but it's based on the comic book, which is written by Pierre Christine and Jean-Claude Messes. You know, they wrote the comic book some time ago, and also they had a comic book series on TV in France and other takeoffs from it in the past. But now he turned this to a 3D film. Starring in the film is Dane Duhan as Valerian. Now, Valerian is a major in the army there with these planet of a thousand aliens. Now, let me tell you how that got started. Well, you know, in reality, above us, we have the space station, people living there. But what started to happen, according to the comic book, other aliens started connecting to it and living there and communicating with us humans. Then more and more came, but it got too huge to be above Earth, so Earth pushed it away. So the film moves 400 years later in some distant galaxy. I don't even know if Earth still connects to that. I don't remember that in the film. But anyway, there's a thousand aliens or a thousand spaceships connected to it now. And now it's a city in space. So the storyline is this. Something's going wrong within the city. But the citizens really don't know that. Only the people in the army and the people that affect it knows what's happening. Because who's in charge of the security? We humans, we are, we control everything there in the city of a thousand planets. But Valerian needs to figure this out. And he's with his girlfriend slash Sergeant Kara Duvagini. She's in this, you know, fashion model. Beautiful. Yeah. And she's with him, too. And they have a love story going on. I like that love story. I, I thought it was pretty cool because they work, you know, so closely together. And I can understand that because I've worked closely together with some females myself. And, you know, but that's, it's not about me. It's about Valerian and the city of a thousand planets. So they got to figure out what's going on. And the other part of the story is this. It opens up on this blue, beautiful planet. They all living by nature, beautiful people, peaceful. But then the humans come with their destruction and destroy this race. And Valerian has to figure out what is going on and who did what. Now, let me tell you about the other cast members. We got Clive Owen in this. We got Rihanna. Please watch this for her dancing scene. Oh, I hate to get that part away. And she's so beautiful, but she's playing another alien. Ethan Hawke, he's playing a pimp. Oh, man. Wait till you see Ethan Hawke as a pimp. Herbie Hancock playing the commander. And people, if you don't know who Herbie Hancock is, you really don't know your music history. This guy done won at least 14 Grammys. He's a jazz musician. He's the greatest I've seen, one of the greatest I've seen. And he also worked with the greatest. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you who that is. Chris Wu is in this, and Sam Spurl is in this film, too. Like I said, Valeria and Loreline, you know, they got to complete their missions. And they got to find out what's going on. And they're doing this again with this great 3D in this film and this stunning, colorful film. Oh, each scene is so different and with different sections and different aliens. It is so great. The plot is fun to watch 
and you got to pay attention to it, but it's not that difficult to follow. It really isn't. And I will admit, but somehow Dane sounds like Keanu Reeves a little bit. Man, I got a little bit confused about that. And the music throughout the film is really great because I knew a lot of the music in the film. And also that's a song in there by Rihanna too. You got to listen to that too. I had fun watching this film. And I tell you, it really gave me a lot to see. That's why I'm excited about this film. And that's why I'm giving it three palm trees out of four. It's not great, but it's good. Just three palm trees out of four or three stars out of four stars. You know, to keep it simple for you so you can understand that. So Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, go see it. But make sure you see it in 3D. Well, I did. And also, you just watch me, Al McGee, here at www.yeticket.com. And you know what? I appreciate it. This is your entertainment ticket. Latest and greatest.